What to expect when you're expecting a Tiger Woods-esque round of golf. On this week's episode of Lost City Library's Book It the Podcast, we swing right in and discuss the perfect cigar during a feeble attempt at a braggable handicap, what not to consume during your play, and the perfect pairing for the 19th hole. All that and more on this week's edition of Lost City Library's Book It the Podcast. First hole, dead straight. Um, par 5... At the local golf club, my buddies went out during a Labor Day weekend. And so I I looked over, deadpanned, this is it. This is going to be the day that I beat all of you. They're about a four handicap, right? And I'm about, I don't know, a 25. I'm not good. Like, that's, I don't, I don't know how I've gotten worse playing more often at a silly game of golf. But it's, it's happening. And I don't think anyone can, anywhere can ever say that they're actually getting worse doing something more. This guy right here, I can. So at least I'm the only one able to do something, right? <laughs> so I turn to them. This is it. This is going to be the day. Fun fact. Today was not the day either. Just like yesterday, just like the week before. Turns out I'm not that good. I really, really deserve that 20 handicap. And fast forward, whoop, 10 holes. We're on the 11th. I hit my usual customary uh, drive doinked it about a hundred yards, didn't go very far. So there are people in front of me, there are people behind us. Uh, Labor Day, it's obviously golf golf courses are crowded. And these guys, these these poor guys behind me, uh, they're seeing me struggle. They're seeing me uh, swing and whiff off the tee. They're seeing me take chunks of uh, earth um, from... (laughs) Not the fairway, uh, the very, very of the rough. So I'm in the very, very of the rough. And what happens is on a par four, your second shot, if you're anywhere close, if you think you're going to get anywhere close to green and there's somebody on the green, if there's another person or foursome, whatever, they're um, making their putts, that you just wait. That's golf course etiquette. You just wait. But knowing my history, right, uh, there's no way that I could ever get anywhere close to the screen, 215 yards away. So I pull out a, uh, a five iron thinking, well, if I can't get there, maybe I could just dribble it another 100 yards at a time and just work my way up the fairway or, you know, somewhere parallel to the fairway. And I line up, drive that sucker, what you know, two bounces, plunk, right on the green. So I'm thinking, oh my God, I was literally like really close to hitting somebody's shoes to go in right through their legs um, with my golf ball. And so the people actually got really pissed off at first. They turn around, but they see who has the iron in their hand. What you know, they actually applauded for me. They were cheering me knowing how awful I am at the game of golf. It was the coolest moment because they were about to like throw my ball off the green. They were really ticked off, right? Because somebody just uh, really disregarded the uh, golf course etiquette and, and the rules, but they turn around, they see me, and they actually started cheering for me. So that's my story. Unfortunately, that's really the only good story I have on that round.